Following the letter sent to the managing director of Iroko TV demanding implementation of 5% levy on all audio and visual content on all physical and digital platforms, Somolu um, suspends Lagos State Film and Video Censors Board's Executive Secretary Bamdeli Balogun. In a statement shared on Twitter by the essay to Governor Somolu on new media, he said, and I quote, The government hereby dissociates itself from the said announcement in the media. The Executive Secretary, who was not authorized to make such an announcement has been suspended pending an administrative inquiry. Good. Um, Very good. I think this is um, where we were beginning to see structure in our political system where some people feel like because I'm in a certain position, I don't have to follow protocol. I can go behind certain people's back, make um, certain decisions without getting proper approval. I think there's a classic case of that where this guy felt the need that because it was in a, in a certain position, he could make certain laws without referring to the Lagos state government or getting their approval. So I like the fact that there was a firm action taken against them because that's the only way we can move forward. Let yeah. people know that there are consequences yeah. I like you for your action. Like you mentioned structure because okay. for me, the, the dissemination of information for me in this story was what wowed me. The mm. fact that it was able to circulate like that because mm -hmm. it happened a long time ago and there was really no response from mm. um, the, 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 go the government at first until you know it became more personal with Njoku and then... Which is where I was going to because... This announcement, I think it was about three weeks ago, yeah. where we first talked about it on the show. We even had guests to break it down on the news and all, like talking about how the, the said 5% levy or they call it levy now, the tax thing is actually, some say it's double taxing mm. and it's actually vague. On mm. what content are you going to um, put this levy on? Are you going to say, well, after I've produced it and made money, then from the um, profit, I give you 5%. Mm. Or are you saying it is the money when I'm budgeting money to produce the you movie i'm budgeting five percent of whatever like it was really vague and there were so many questions and their pr came out to say oh they would speak with stakeholders to ensure and see how it is done and blah 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 until this letter was um, um shared on social media by jason joko and my question is if jason did not share this letter would it have? would they have stood up to do what they're supposed to do and if it didn't come from it jason because trust me when it came out it trended most stakeholders came on social media to talk about it and like why are they doing this to content creators and that no response came at that time until this letter was released by him and then suddenly of course there was another uproar and suddenly you are seeing it and you're you're suspended so yes it feels good to feel heard but i feel like this feeling heard has question mark as far as i'm concerned okay so for the question mark i think the only way i can relate to it is um the fact that it's not everything that you expect the legal stick That's what I was going no. to say. If, I'm not, if I cannot prove that they were not, they were actually aware of it, then I can't really say, I can't really criticize it. But if this I saw that they had, um, you know, interacted with the information mm. at some point and refused to um, respond, then maybe. So I don't know. I mean, it's hard to tell whether or not they're just responding because it's no joke or it's because they genuinely just saw yeah. the letter when and it maybe came they, out. And I, I really maybe they know. expected the body that was in charge, in charge of, of answering to that to have fixed, fixed it. it. And the person or the people didn't like the peer. Maybe they were all in on it and they were making personal decisions yeah. for their personal it's also quite gain. It's a that a lot actually, of people yeah. can make such massive decisions on such a skill that hasn't been approved of, do I need to then go back to all the people that have ever tasked tax me <laughs> to find out if Lagos actually legit asked them to, that's, that's to a do very, that? That's, that's, that's a very valid yeah, point. It's that's kind a of very, crazy. Very valid you put it point. out. These people did not hide it. They didn't like waste fight in their ears. They made they, speeches. They public, even used the Lagos media. state letter. Yes. Like, you understand, so this well, it's out. fine. I'm, I'm glad that this is happening now, and I hope that this gives them an opportunity to go back to the drawing board and um, decide and even investigate if, some other know, policies. Decide that are if they really want um, this policy and if they want it, how do they want to implement it? Because one of the reasons they gave us then was that it um, this tax is going to help them invest back into the industry. Well, the and tax help is already piracy, there. Is um, whatever. I mean, they mentioned everything that we would say yes is our problem. The tax that we have now, let them start with that. What have they done? with that we don't even have one distribution um, um company from lagos states one single one hmm. that's what i was finding out today that's when i had, I had this conversation oh 